I hope so. I really hope so. This is the best chance they've had for a lot of years, as people know. Uh, what Bielsa has done there is, you know, he can't be underestimated. He's got a team playing, he's got a team that know how to win, get results. In my opinion, yes, I think they will. I'm looking here at the fixtures that they've got remaining. Um, Leeds play Preston tomorrow, Sheffield United go to Birmingham. I can't see, other than one or two games, where the two teams will slip up. For me, I'm going to predict it goes all the way down to the last game. Leeds are away at Ipswich, Sheffield United are away at Stoke. I can see it being within a point to the last day and I fancy Stoke to do Leeds a favour and beat Sheffield United and Leeds to win at Ipswich. If we can keep the, sh the side fit, keep the players fit, I hope Leeds will go up this year. So my prediction would be it going to the last game and Leeds going up by a point or two. It was very difficult for me at the time, um, obviously because I was still very young and it was one of my early experiences in football, something that you don't want to experience as a footballer. I experienced it again later on in my career with Blackburn uh, and it's never easy, it's, it's a horrible time. It's the time leading up to the relegation that's more painful. Um, the inevitability when you're not actually relegated but you can see it and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Um, regards performances, training ground, no matter what you do, you, all, you seem to be on this slippery slope. It's a, a losing run, as I've said before, is very, very hard to get out of as is a winning run. So it's probably one of the most painful memories of my career and probably one of the most early painful memories of my career as well. I think he's done an excellent job. I think question marks were raised when he decided not to take the job for however many weeks it was he said he needed a holiday. But then the reasoning came out for that and I think people accepted that. His assistants, um, Steve Agnew, went in there, steadied the ship. Um, they're very, very solid now. They've not lost for a number of games. Uh, they've got a number of draws in there, but they've also they've got wins. I think he's pulled them up to 12th in the table as we speak. Given a transfer budget at the end of the season and allowed to do what he wants with players, bring them in and out, I think he's a, a very astute appointment.